All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this ancient impossible triangle made out of isometric cubes, which also includes the Star of David, which is quite interesting. It came out perfectly. So let's dive in. Step one, let's select the hexagon, scale it up. Let's select the line tool. And I'm going to start from this edge, drag it, press and hold shift and go all the way to the right edge. Let's go to the rotate tool, double click on type in 60 degree angle, click on copy and press control D to duplicate. Now let's select all, press shift plus M, or you can go and select the shape builder tool. And we're going to connect these two, these two, and then the last ones. Now I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill. Let's recolor them. Now I'm going to decorate this, select all, press control C and then control F, or you can go to edit, paste in front. This is going to create another copy on the top. I'm going to scale it up and I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this edge, press and hold shift, select the right one and the bottom one, press on delete. Now I'm going to recolor them to be on the same color with yellow and I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke. Increase the stroke thickness and I'm going to go and change up the color a little bit more, but make sure that the stroke is on the top first. I'm going to make it lighter. Now let's go to object, expand, click OK, select all the shapes, press shift plus M, press and hold alt, delete the unnecessary lines. Now I'm going to make some more lines. I'm going to swap it from fill to stroke, click on the stroke so it's going to be on the top. I'm going to select the black. Select the line tool and I'm going to make some lines. Increase the stroke thickness and press and hold Alt, drag it to create a new copy. Long press the letter D, right click, group. I'm also going to go to the object, expand, click OK. And let's select this rectangle, press and hold Alt, drag it to the right, also press Shift. Now right click on the rectangle, arrange, bring to front, select both, right click, make clipping mask. Now I'm going to bring this on the rectangle and I'm going to select these lines, right click, arrange, bring to front. Now I'm going to select them all, right click, group, scale it down and now we're going to create the triangle. And I'm going to press and hold alt, drag it to the right, also press shift to isolate. I'm going to position it somewhere here, word intersect. And I'm going to press control D, control D again and I'm going to press enter and it's going to appear the move settings. We're going to go to the angle, Type in here minus 120 degree angle, click on copy, and it's going to copy it in a 120 degree angle. Now press control D to create a duplicate another time, and I'm going to press enter again, and I'm going to remove the minus now, and click on copy again, press control D, and control D again. And up at least we're going to make these overlap, I'm going to select this rectangle, right click on group, and I'm going to select these lines, press and hold shift, select the second one as well, and also select the yellow and the blue, right click, arrange, bring the front, the orange is going to be on the bottom, and this is how you make it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>